Hi and welcome to the 12th ARCHICAD video tutorial for beginners. In this tutorial we're going to be talking about the line tool. You can find the line tool over here in your toolbox. So make sure you select it. And let's start with the basics over here. So first let's talk about the geometry methods. This first geometry method is the simple one where if you do one click and then the other click you're done drawing your line. The second geometry method is the chained geometry method. So with this one, if you do one click and then the second click, you can keep going. So you can do as many clicks as, as you like, and you're going to have a chained line. Basically, if you select one of them and you have your groups activated, so this suspend groups button is not highlighted, then when you select one of them, you're going to select all of them. The next geometry method is this rectangular method. So with this one, if you do one click and then you do the second click, you're going to have a rectangle. The fourth geometry method is this rotated rectangular option, which means that you do first one line at an angle, if you would like, and then the third click is going to be the width of your rectangle. So that is basically all of the ways in which you can draw lines in ARCHICAD. Over here, the next thing, you're going to change your pen color. So let's do that so that we have more visible lines. I'm going to change it to this 48th option. So if we go here, now we have our different color. You can see that the thickness of the lines are different. You can see the thicknesses of the different colors over here. So when you select one, you can see that this black one is has a 0 0.13 millimeter. This red one has a 0 0.25 millimeter. So the different widths of the lines are, you can see them over here. If you want to do precision work in ARCHICAD and you don't want to see the widths of the lines, then all you have to do is right click and deselect this true line weight option. And now all of the lines are very thin and you're not going to see their true width, which is going to show up when you print or anything else. If you want to see it again, you just reactivate that option and you can see the true width of the lines. If you don't see the color that you want to use or you none of the colors that you want to use have the width that you want, you can create your own colors I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So let's go to Options, Element Attributes, Pens and Colors. And over here, you can see the pen set that we were working with before. These are our all kinds of pen sets in ARCHICAD, but let's work with the one that it comes up with in default mode. So I'm going to select this pen over here, which has no color. Now it's just this simple gray with zero weight. So I'm going to click over here and I'm going to make maybe a deeper blue or maybe a lighter one. I'm going to click OK and over here for pen weight I'm going to do 0 0.5 let's say and then once you've done all of this make sure you say store as and store it over the one that you are using currently in ARCHICAD. I'm going to say overwrite then I'm going to do OK. So I'm going to select the color that we just made. See, now it appears over here. And I'm going to draw my lines. Over here you can change the settings of the ends of the lines. So you can either leave it without any arrowhead, or you can change it so that it has an arrowhead at the start. So by default it's uh, selecting this model of a narrow head at a size of 2. Let's see what that looks like. And as you can see, now you have an arrow And as you can see, now you have an arrow head at the beginning of your line. But the color of it is the one that is set over here. If you want it to have the same color as your line, you simply change this and make it blue. So now if I do a line, it looks nicer. So the other option is to have an arrow head at the end of your line. So you do one click and then the other click. Uh, in order to finish this chained 
a geometry method all you have to do is do another click at the end of your line so now the arrowhead is at the end of the line and you can also make it so that it has an arrowhead at the at both ends so like this if you do a chained line with the arrowhead you're only going to have the arrowheads at the end of the first and of the last lines if you want to you can select a line and change the type of arrowhead that you use so you have a bunch of options here and you can change the size of the arrowhead as well you can set it to 5 and you can change that now we're going to talk about the zone boundary option let's select our wall tool and let's make sure that the geometry method is the rectangular one I'm going to do one click over here and one click over here I'm going to move this out of the way and now I'm going to select my line tool I'm going to leave all the settings as they are and I'm just without the zone boundary checked and I'm just going to do one line like this now I'm going to select my zone tool I'm going to leave all the settings as they are so the construction method should be the inner edge if I do a click over here and then another click I can see that the zone is created inside the perimeter of these walls I'm going to delete this one I'm going to select this line and I'm going to check this zone boundary option and now when I do a zone over here you can see that this line acts as a zone boundary so this is very useful to know if you're going to have a big open space and you want to have different zones in ARCHICAD then you can use lines in order to make sure that that happens okay so let's go back to our line tool and I'm actually going to also talk about the line type option over here which I skipped over before uh, these are all kinds of different line types that you can use in ARCHICAD so you can either have a wave or this insulation option which because my line is so thick I cannot actually see it so I'm going to select it and change the color and now you can see it better it still has arrowheads you can deselect those and actually in ARCHICAD you can create your own custom type of lines I have a video on that I'm going to link it somewhere on the screen what I'm going to show you next is in this chained option how you can uh, actually not just draw lines but also do an arc by center point or arc by three points so over here in this window that appears once you start drawing you can just select this one one of these other options and you can just draw different arches I'm actually going to just change to change this back to solid line so that it's easier to follow so remember that with those you can actually draw all kinds of different arches using the actual line tool with the geometry method chained if you have a line already drawn and you want to modify it what you have to do is select this line and let's say you want to drag this uh, corner out you cannot do that because the groups are not suspended so I am going to suspend my groups by clicking over here or hitting Alt plus G and now if I select this corner I can move it if I select this edge I can either turn it into a curved edge I can select this other edge and offset just this one edge but because this is an arc this one got modified as well I'm going to show you again over here so if I select this line not all of the lines in this group are selected I'm gonna unsuspend the groups all of them got automatically selected and then suspend it again I usually do this by the shortcut alt plus G and now if I click this edge I can just offset one edge or I can click here and then select this offset all edges options and do it like that and all of these other things you can either drag rotate mirror and multiply let's show you multiply we're going to do we're going to leave all the settings as they are and just hit ok and then if i go like this we have a bunch of different multiplications of the original 
each of them grouped together. Okay, so let's talk about the arc and circle tool, which is closely rela related to the line tool. Pretty much all the settings are the same, except you can actually draw directly arches. So you can either use this arc circle geometry method. So you put the center point and the radius, and then you click one, you do one click and then the other click is the radius or the distance. What you can do, if you want to be more precise, you can use your tracker, hit tab, and then just input the radius. So one. You do another click and you have the circle. Same thing goes for all these different options of drawing lines. If you want to be precise and not just do clicks with your mouse, let me show you. Let's go back to the line tool. You can do one click and then for the distance, you can hold down shift and then tab. With shift, you lock your line so that it's horizontal. And with tab, you go through this um, tracker. So you can input the distance. So let's say three meters. And now your line is three meters long. OK, let's go back to the arch tool. Another geometry method is the three point method. So if we select that one, you're going to do one click over here, the second click, and the third is going to be the distance from the from the second point. And now you can either do a complete circle or an incomplete one. And the third option is this tangent one. I barely ever use these two later options. So with this you just do three clicks and you have the circle that is going to go through those three points. This other geometry method is th is this ellipse one. So if you select it, you're going to do one click and then another click, and you're going to have an ellipse instead of a circle. All of these other options are basically the same as the ones that we've talked about before in the line tool. OK, so now let's talk a little bit about the polyline tool, which is similar to the line tool but um, it functions more like the lines in AutoCAD, if you've ever worked with AutoCAD. So with this, the geometry methods are polygonal, rectangular, and rectangular rotated. So with polyline, if you start drawing, and then you're done, and you select it, you're always going to select the whole thing. You can never just select one piece of it, because a polyline is one object. The line over here is four objects. Let me show you. If you select this one, you are going to see that here you have selected one item. If you select this one, because it is a group and you have all of them selected, you have four items selected. If you suspend the groups and you select this one, you have one item. So in this case, each individual line is an item in ARCHICAD. Over here, the polyline is one item. So that is basically the difference. Usually when you import something from AutoCAD or you receive something from engineers, they usually work in polylines, in my experience. I barely ever work with polylines myself and I usually change all of the polylines so that they are lines. In order to do that, I'm going to select this polyline. I'm going to go to Edit, Reshape, Line Work Consolidation. I'm going to leave all of these settings as they are. So delete duplicate lines that have identical attributes, explode polylines into lines and arcs. So this is going to uh, modif explode this polyline into line and arcs, if any of the shapes are arcs. I'm going to hit next. Over here is attributes that you want to ignore when merging lines. I'm not going to change anything over here. I'm going to click next. And then I'm going to say, I'm going to leave this as it is as well. Merge overlapping lines, force solid lines, adjust overlapping lines, and consolidate. I'm going to click OK. And now if I select this, you can say that you can see that it is no longer a polyline, but it is a simple line. So it retained the attributes of the first polyline that we selected, so it has an arrowhead on both ends, 
but they are individual lines now. They are no longer polylines. Another way to do this, if you have a polyline, let me draw another one over here, is you can select it, you can hit Control plus, which means explode into current view. I'm going to deselect this Keep Original after exploding and I'm going to say OK. And now all of these elements are lines. In this case, when I did it like this, the ends of this arrow is not a smart arrowhead, but it is actual just simple lines that were transformed from the polyline. And in this case, you don't have the arrowheads in the, in the corners because all that explode does is change whatever you have into lines, arches, fills, and so on and so forth. Okay, I hope this was helpful. This was basically just an overview of the line tool mainly and then explaining the differences between the line tool itself, polyline, arches, and so on. I hope this helped and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!